Hi, this is Matt from Tracy and Matt.co.uk and here we are looking at the Natetmo uh, Urban Weather Station. Just going to do a quick unboxing video before we uh, go away and actually get it all set up. So the idea of this is that you have two units, one for indoors and one for outdoors and basically we're going to measure uh, looking at weather, outdoor air quality, indoor air quality, uh, indoor CO2, humidity, barometric pressure, acoustic comfort and of course temperature and again that's measured both indoors and outdoors. So you have two units and one that uh, basically goes outside and then we have compartment for batteries on the bottom and then we have an indoor unit so you basically hang hang one on the wall so there's the small unit and there's the larger unit which has your USB and micro USB connectors on it as well and then that takes two batteries in there also. Pop that back on also in the box, that's it for those. Also in the box we have uh, a little strap so you can strap it onto something on the outside. We have the USB, micro USB cable for connectivity and we have a UK, no we have a, what's that, that's a European plug and looks like, unless I'm mistaken, Yes, fantastically, we don't have the rest of the power cable, so never mind. That's what we've uh, been sent from the guys over in the Tatmo. So um, these are our two units. We're going to go and set these up. Uh, these work both with uh, the iPhone and the iPad. And if I just bring the box back um, here, you can see that you get weather and uh, temperature graphs and information from it, and uh, also more so from the iPad. So we're going to go and set these up and we'll be back with uh, the results and what we see on the screen. Okay so we've now set up our Natatmo two units so we've got the outdoor unit sitting obviously outside and the indoor unit sitting uh, just a few meters away from me. So the indoor unit connects to your uh, wireless network obviously have a Wi-Fi um, and the outdoor unit connects uh, effectively to uh, the indoor unit uh, um, using its own wireless sort of standard. Uh, the indoor unit uh, takes care of most of the readings and obviously connects to the internet so that we can see this information. So this is obviously some live information. Uh, setup doesn't take too long. It's a lot easier when you actually have some instructions which I had to go and download from the internet but nevertheless managed to get that set up. Um, requires you to download um, the uh, setup application on your PC or Mac and connect the uh, indoor unit to that over a USB with micro USB cable. So now all that's out of the way we have got it set up. So we've got uh, our outdoor temperature of just uh, just under 15 degrees um, and our maximum there has been 22 uh, or feels and it feels like 15 the outdoor humidity of 70%. Um, we can also look at the main pollutant being ozone there indoors we have a just under 21 degrees uh, where we've got also our pressure and humidity indoors and our main pollutant inside is CO2. I'm not sure that's 100% accurate um, and I think uh, well I've seen that sort of fluctuate I think that's coming coming down a little bit now anyway um, I think it's uh, what we're seeing here is these numbers are coming down certainly as the outdoor units sort of outside a bit longer and acclimatizing uh, and same with the indoor readings. We also see readings on a graph here, uh, rain levels and sort of weather forecasts also. We can add additional indoor units if we want to, so we can monitor and measure other rooms, that's what you would do there. So we can see that information on a graph, so this is the indoor humidity plotted on a graph, uh, indoor temperature, there we go, it's, it's rising, indoor pressure, it's pretty steady. CO2, which obviously going down, sound meter inside, well there's a lot going on indoors at the moment. Outdoor temperature, it's taking a while to load. Okay, and obviously when it has that's come down, that's because the unit has moved outside from indoors via the set, once we did the setup, and then we've got the indoor uh, out, sorry, outdoor humidity increasing slightly. Also got an event, so we've uh, set uh, just a set of alerts on the events there. 
and we can go back to that and load it in that mode as well. So obviously this being the iPad app, you've got a bit more on the screen, uh, but there's also an iPhone app that you can uh, also take a look at. Uh, the weather forecast down the bottom in terms of expectations, as you can see there. And obviously the other stuff is kind of uh, real time and live and you can refresh the app. So it's a little look at the uh, Netecmo um, Urban Weather Station, which comes in the box that looks like that. Uh, the indoor unit, obviously sitting indoors, outdoor unit, the smaller of the two, sitting outside, and this is what we get out of it. We'll have a bit more of a write-up on the site on tracymat.co.uk uh, once we've had a chance to play around with it a bit more, and once uh, everything, all the set settings and um, readings have settled down, we'll uh, comment on that a bit more. But uh, in the meantime, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash tracyandmatt or facebook.com slash tracyandmatt.co.uk. And I'll be back soon with some more news and reviews on tracyandmatt.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching.